Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. Now at Tested, we usually do not do product unboxings. Uh, we just review the product, test it, and tell you what we think about it. But I thought there was something pretty cool about the Phantom 4 that I wanted to show you. Uh, this of course was the quadcopter made by DJI, just announced this past week, and they sent us one to review. It actually doesn't hit stores until March 15th. And what I wanted to show you is, of all things, the carrying case. So opening this up, we're gonna take the Phantom 4 out of this box. The box, interestingly enough, also only lists 26 minutes of flight time, even though DJI is touting 28 minutes. That would be an important difference. But check this out. This is essentially a foam carrying case. Now, styrofoam tends to flake, and I'd be worried about taking this uh, and, and taking it on an airplane or something if it was gonna flake everywhere, but it looks like they put a coating on it, so this is pretty nice. And check this out. If I open it with this lock, good latch, and it pops open, and you could actually use it as a carrying case, which saves you the need then to buy something like this, which is what I use, the low pro case, I really love it. I have this for the Phantom 3, but it's a little big, and I just throw this in the back of my car, but this could also serve that purpose right now. But I also wanna do is do a little more of a comparison between the Phantom 3 and the Phantom 4. So let's check out what's inside here. Um, you got the Phantom 4, take that out. Ah, I do like, you notice that the camera gimbal now has two motors on the left. That's supposed to increase stability. I like this bracket here. In the old Phantom 3 and the Phantom 2, the way to lock the gimbal in for storage was this side plastic mount that actually was like, was like a puzzle to, to fit together. But that's nice. I'm gonna put that down here. You have the new transmitter, which looks a lot like the transmitter from the, the Phantom 3, except now it has a toggle right here for sport mode. There's also a button to pause it when it flies autonomously. In the back, you can see there's micro USB and there's also a USB port. Um, so one's to plug into your tablet, for example. There's no HDMI, uh, but so that could be an accessory that you un unscrew this and then replace that so you get HDMI out. Um, you have your props here, charger here, and then of course, the new battery. Now compared to the Phantom 3 battery, it's a little bigger, so you're not gonna mistake it. The Phantom 2 and 3 had similar looking batteries. Uh, this one is 68 watt hours, and this one, 53, 50 milliamp hours versus 4480. So higher capacity, both 4S batteries at 15.2 volts. Does it come? Well, it comes half charged, nice. What's also cool is that the battery fits in here, and they actually included an extra slot for a second battery. So you can use this carrying case if you decide to buy the extra battery, which I hope won't be in short supply like the previous models. So here's the P3. Now the P4 is a little bit heavier. If you look, actually, they're dimensionally almost exactly the same. It's a little more sleek and the P4 design. Uh, we're gonna take this up into the skies, get it, do some testing, get some flight time in, and you can look forward to our review on Tested. But I did wanna show you how it all comes in the box, um, and I think that's pretty neat. It comes with a carrying case. So uh, I'm Norm from Tested, and we'll see you next time. Bye.